this friend of mine, he was like an older friend. I mean, I met him when I was actually in my 40s and he was then in his 60s. And in the last few years, I've really seen him uh, just go down till he died. And, I, and he always recognized me, interestingly, no matter what. He would forget a lot of very, very important things, dates and uh, other family members. But when he came to me, he did. And that is because I think I kind of embraced him at the time when I found him and he became our helper at home. He became someone who did all our garden. He would come and drive me if I needed him to drive me. And uh, he was just a good friend and we called him Moses. And Moses was literally was, he was very biblical and he was very naughty, very cheeky. But then you saw the change in him. And when you see that kind of change in someone you care about, whether they're your parents or whether it's just someone you know very well, it's, um, it brings it home to you how fragile we all are and one night we can go to bed and everything's fine and make, wake up the next morning and, and things will change and um, you know we must find the cure, we must find the answer, the pathway must be opened up so that way we can reduce the risk to all of us. Alzheimer's Research UK, the work you guys do is very important and I think any research that hopefully finds either a cure or a way of actually prolonging and improving the quality of life has got to be applauded. And I will do whatever I can to help you guys because we're all at risk. He who has health has hope. And he who has hope has everything. That's what hope is.